Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Wario World. Last time, we beat the Dual Dragon, a very pathetic and easy boss, and unlocked our third area of the game. This is where the game starts to get a little bit annoying and ridiculous. So, time for our token ice level. Same to-do list as always. So, let's go into the snow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thrillsville, Shivering Mountain. I despise Shivering Mountain. Shivering Mountain is obnoxious for collecting all the treasures and all the chests. Why? Because of what you have to do in order to get all the gold. Ah, great. I already missed one of the gold pieces, believe it or not. Yes, this is obnoxious. But, on the bright side, I can get another one of the gold pieces that's up right here. And that over here. Climb the top. Right, like that. Climb up. Right around here. Right here. Two. Go over this way. And on the top of the tree is our first gold piece. I should have two gold pieces, but I missed one. I'll go right here, and there's the switch. Go down here now, and grab the red chest. All right. Now, I will tell you this right now. Thrillsville took me forever to do my first time playing this game. And it's still something that takes me ages a lot of the time. And what I need to do is I need to try and bounce onto there. It is possible. What I want to do is I want to bounce up on there so that I can get the first of the uh, treasures. So what I need to do is I need to wait for one of the enemies to pick me up. Come on, pick me up. 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 Pick me up, you stupid thing. Pick me up! <laughs> On. Come on, I've gotten you guys to get me up there before, and I need to, I should have, in hindsight, gotten onto there. This would be so much easier. No, come back. Come back, I could have used you. No. Dang it. Oh. All right, I'm gonna cut until I manage to get up there because it is possible and I don't want to make multiple backtracks inside the stage. So cutting ahead real quick. Got it, finally, God! I'm not even gonna lie, that took me ages to do. And that's all because I'm lazy and don't want to do backtracking, although I'm probably gonna have to. Ugh. There we go. All that for one crystal. I wonder which of the SpongeBob drops I have to use for that one. Oh my god. All right, now to get rid of that annoying noise too. The Angler Mangler's weak spot hangs from its noggin. Don't bother punching its face. Attack its buddy, the Barrel Buster, by smacking him in the head when he pokes it out. If you can just force it into the air. So yes, we have an enemy that's right here. A giant anglerfish. So, what do we do? Uh, we get this guy right here. Grab him. And send him in the air. That's what you do. I know a lot of people who get confused on that because they do not listen to what the Spritelings say on that. Usually the first Spriteling is the best one to listen to. Now, there is a glitch that you can do with uh, the angler manglers. And what that is, I've never been able to fully do. Basically, what you do is you go into the corner and you do Wario's move where he sucks up gold coins. And if you do it right, for some odd reason, Angler Mangler ends up just instantly dying. I've tried to get that glitch to work, but I can't seem to. All right, now for this one right here, go to the side, because as you can see, there is a piece of gold on the slide. That's a dick move and jump at the end of it, and you will end up on a new area. 
You're going to want to do that because this is to where one of the chests are. If you miss that, you are going to have to go through the entire stage, use the go back balloon, and go back to the beginning of the stage, and then hope you get it a second time. That's why I hate this stage. The stage is not friendly for backtracking, and I did not... Okay, come on. So apparently, enemies can go inside the force field just fine. I can't, though. I can't leave, but enemies can get in just fine. Way to be a dick. Guess what? He died. That's not what was supposed to happen. Right, but the other reason is you want to come up here for that piece right there. Let's go up. Gold coins around. That's all we get. And that. Go up over this way, and we have our yellow chest. So, that takes care of that. Believe me, that took me forever to find out that that was there my first time playing. Because of how this stage is. There's a gold piece right there, but we're not done up here yet. Before we go down, we're going to be going up over this way to another one of the red diamond locations. Which is in right here. Luckily, I don't have to do any stupid platforming to get to them. I do have to do stupid platforming to get to the top of it, though. Right, and there is a sprite link inside here, so open you up. The places are high, ice caves too high, so use icicle mites. So yeah, that's gonna be something that we're gonna be seeing down below. Icicle mites, pretty much, they're gonna be our makeshift platforms. So we're done up here now. So let us head on down over this way. I don't wanna have to ride the slide, so I wanna go right here. Into a fight. Great. Now I gotta go and beat up Frosty's cousins. You know, Frosty just wanted to say happy birthday. Wario said no, and yeah, now we're in this. Poor Frosty. He was finally alive, and now he's dying. Yeah, Wario's kind of a dick like that. You should see how he handles a Christmas carol. For that, if you ever want to see that, go and watch, go and read, um, For All in the Family. <sighs> I was so sad when that was announced that it was ending. I love For All in the Family. It's, it was so sad that I was leaving. Although I will say I have found another Nintendo-esque comics that's since replaced it. Uh, Kaku Joe's comics. Uh, Kaku Jomics is what the site is. I love his comics. They're hilarious. I recommend actually checking them out. I, I find that a lot of... I find that he's really underrated, which makes me sad. Oh, done. Either way, though, now that we're done with that. Ah, Icicle Mites, come here. You will be my platforms. Pile drive. I need one of them. Get over here, because I need to make a sacrifice. You will sacrifice to this door. Hmm. All right. That one. That one. That one. Not that one. Oh! What did I do? There we go. This one. There we go. There we go. That's what Wario needed to do. Okay, can I make it? I think I might have gotten the timing wrong on it, so let's just reset everything. All right. There we go. Hit those two. Hit that one. And there we go. Perfect. Timing's perfectly set, too. All right. And let us go around. And now for the red diamond. So, mine. And I think it's garlic. I can take that. So, going up. And now let's go and get that chest that I managed to do. So, over here. I'm gonna ignore you. And looks like a ceramic china plate. Oh, nice. Going up. All right, so what's over this way? Now we hit into the real meat part of this level. And that's... Uh, the twists and turning corridors that are all around the place, believe me. 
we're going to be dealing with a lot of those. I will take one of these ice cream mites with me, just for the heck of it. And we have giant things blocking us. Well, no. In fact, those are actually the closest things to where I think are actually supposed to be Koopas. We go right here, we beat them up, like so. And use them as a sacrifice, like so. Down we go. All right, so another one of these. Who oh boy. Ah, oh, we got a Spriteling inside this one. A lot of Spritelings inside these lately. It's a punchy open. Uh, beware of fatting tons. Excuse me? I'm not fat, I'm big bold. So, fatting tons, you're gonna know when you see them. Pretty much they're designed just to knock you off the edge. Seriously, these look like Koopas. Like mechanic, like living mechanical Koopas. Either way, go over this way right here. And cross. And we have another one of the red diamonds right there. That one's easily missable, but hmm. Don't just hit willy-nilly. Look for the pattern. If you mess up, then you gotta restart. Thing is, it's randomized each time, so just going based on this playthrough alone, you won't be able to just, you know, hit them willy-nilly. So, now I gotta deal with you. There we go. Come with me. Have fun in hell! All right, I still might. I will take you with me to go upward. There we go. And then I'm gonna need another one, actually. Here. Because there is a switch up there, which is what I am going for. Right there. So let's go back and get that treasure chest. Should be over this way. Out of my way. Oh, Wario head. All oh, right, that's why. I, that's why I need the Wario head. I was about to say I don't need that. Oh wait, that's right, I do. Right, so there we go. Get you out of the way. You out of the way. Hit. There we go. Get nothing but the treasures. The only thing I'm really worried about is the other piece of gold that is on a slide. I don't want to have to deal with those. I also want to get rid of that stupid spritling noise. They annoy me. Go. Punch. This mountain is big, huh? Collecting all treasure here is going to be really tough. You are telling me. If you clear it once, there might be something useful at the start point when you return. Hmm. That sounds interesting. It sounds like something that's completely useless to me because I'm going to be going through this, trying to go through all this all at once. Okay, that's that's new. I don't remember those spawners spawning out uh, things to hurt me. Ah, oh, Fattington! Fattington! I should have known! Ah, uh, great. Now I gotta deal with these guys while looking for my... Ah, no, let me go. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, let me go. Don't care. Out of my way. Ah, yeah. Don't care. I don't care if I'm losing money. I'm a terrible Wario, I know, but in this case, I hate being down here. No, no. It's gonna be the last one. Isn't it? Found it. Yay, it wasn't the last one. It was just a good three-fourths of the way down. Fattington. I should have known. Now, give me an enemy so I can get out of the way of Fattington. Screw you, Fattington! And throw. There we go. Now, let's go down over this way. Ah, oh, Fattington. It's like Dinkleberg for me. Only in this case, fatting. All right, going down. Although I shouldn't be because there are alternate paths I need to take, including a way up here to where I can get some chests. I think there's going to be a Faddington. I just knew he'd get in my way. All right, so now let's go around him. Right, and... Oh, he's gone. Ha! 
Bennington couldn't stop me. And coins. Make up for everything I lost. And let's go up here. Two. Ah. Hmm. I'm gonna need one of you guys real quick to help me with this switch. And I'm gonna need this. And I will be taking this off your hands. Lots of ceramic pots and fine china inside the stage. All right, so let us continue for Fattington. You will not get in my way this time, Fattington. Though I think I do need an enemy. And there's my enemy. All right, I need you to get up. There we go. And now to be my sacrifice. Down we go. All right, so looks like we have another gold piece inside this one, so that's good. Waiting. I find it interesting that just now they're going with the whole fog change background. And piece, diamond, and up we go. I think I'm actually doing good on this stage for once. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I normally do extremely bad on this stage. Like, extremely bad. Ah, Faddington's. They're trying to block my way. Whoa. Haha, <laughs> you missed me. Alright, so let's go down in here. And now let us climb up. Next. Oh, we have another gold piece. Perfect. I like that. There we go. Gold piece. Diamond. How many do we have? Seven gold pieces. Okay, so I never missed a gold piece, actually. We're actually perfectly on track because there's one more that's going to be on the slide which is Wario's right arm which means if I screw up I have to go through the entire stage again to get Wario's right arm that would be bad ah great fight time Frosty the snowman is going to die today because Wario's a dick and I can't sing so I'm not going to try again hey Pile drive. There we go. Ah, Fattington. No. I've had enough of your dickishness, Fattington. Now you die. As does Frosty. Ah, Fattington returns. Ah, two Fattingtons. Goodbye, Fattington. Goodbye, Fattington number two. And looks like we went cycling through all the enemies. Because that's pretty much how these work, actually. If you cycle through all the enemies, then it just resets again. I'm going to pile drive a Fattington. Perfect. I pile drive to Fattington. My life is now complete. Ah, great. Angler manglers. I don't want to deal with you. Nope. Here, have your friend. Oh, did your friend hurt you? Not great. Nope, nope, nope. Ah. Good thing this doesn't hurt you when you get frozen. All right, let's get another one of you guys. Have a friend. There we go. Nope. Ah. The reason why I'm not holding on to this guy is because I always get frozen in that area. And if you get frozen while you're holding on to one of them, unfortunately, you drop them. Like that. Right? Have your friend! There we go. Uh, now, this should take two more hits, I believe, and then he should be down. Of course, I need to wait until I can get to hit him again. There we go. Punch, punch. There we go. Pop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ow. There we go. And this should take care of the angler mangler. And I was correct. All right, so that takes care of him. I'm still missing one more chance. Two more chests. One of them should be over here. 
These things are weird. I have no idea what these things are. It was creepy. I'm gonna punch you. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, where's that dark purple switch? Huh. I can't remember where the dark purple switch is. Did I pass it by mistake? If not, then I'm gonna have to look for it, because that's the only one I'm missing, unless it's at the bottom. Uh, looks like nothing up here. Alright, so we're gonna be riding the slide again. But first things first, before we ride that slide, I need to find out which area the gold piece is on. Let me get those right here. Nope, I passed it. Crap. <sighs> well, that's all the treasures, but guess what? Roxas missed one of the gold pieces, the one at the end. Ugh. And there's no way to climb back up without going through the entire stage again, which is annoying. So, here's the last Spriteling. The Winter Winster in front of the goal will try to attack from mid-air. Ooh, chilling. Listen, I bet if you stick something in one of those magma holes, magma might shoot out. Oh, and one more thing. Don't look at its eyes when they turn red. Yes. Listen to what that thing says, because I will tell you right now, the, uh, the, the boss in the stage is scary. It's like disturbingly scary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the balloon back and then I'm going to cut to when I get the gold piece. Got it! God! How many times did that take me? That literally took me five tries to get. Uh, on the bright side, we're done, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, that still was a better run of Thrillsville for this mountain than anywhere else. Because as you can see, we have everything now. So, let's go and take on the boss. Which gives me nightmares. This is the most nightmare fuel inducing boss in the game. The living... I'm sorry. This this disturbs me greatly. Well, let's throw something into the lava, shall we? But if you get frozen, this thing will pop its balloons, run after you, and then try to, uh, well, let's just say it'll try to headbutt you. And it looks creepy on how fast it moves. This thing needs to die. Now, this thing gives me nightmares. This thing's disturbing. Right, Put that in there. That in there. Ah, crap. Right, I'm gonna let him freeze me. He's gonna pop, run to me, and now I'm gonna beat him up. Go away. You go in lava. Don't care that I burn myself. This thing needs to burn in a fire. Lava, reach it. Dang it. Because what you're doing is... Oh, here's what it said. Don't look at it when it's doing its eyes. Because it does this. Oh, my God. Yes. That thing's disturbing. No. Why is this in a Wario game? Ow. Punch. Punch, punch, and now you die. Go away. Creepy, creepy thing, abomination, die. Help oh, get pop, please, 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 please. Yes! Looks like, nope, get over here, get over here. Ah, right. That's what it'll also do, it'll tend to run off the edge to get itself reoriented back in the air. This thing just creeps me out on so many levels. All right, you're gonna freeze me. I'm gonna let you freeze me. I'm gonna pop you. Now, go to hell. All right, so one more hit, and then this abomination is gone. If you could not tell, I hate this boss. All right. 
Pop goes the Wheez. Not looking at you. Again, I will say this. Nightmare fuel. Guess what? You didn't die. God dang it. <laughs> That's not fair. Right. Put it right in here. Freeze myself. Now. Go to hell! Ugh, that thing scares me. <sighs> Thank God I'm done with it. <laughs> that thing disturbs me! <laughs> and it's gonna be my thumbnail. All right. But that takes care of Shivering Mountain and unlocks our next level after we get this lovely hot Beanstalk Way. This is where this game really shows that it's a Wario game. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This is Roxas1359. Next time, we're going to be going to Beanstalk Way. See you guys then.